De novo purine synthesis is a series of reactions involved in the making of nucleic acids. Many drugs work by targeting specific steps in this pathway, which is why the pathway is high yield for exams. Let's head on over to the Pure Rings jewelry store where our scene takes place. Ever hear of the mnemonic, pure as gold? It's to help you remember that adenine and guanine are the two purines. Pure stands for purines, as stands for adenine, and gold stands for guanine. Pure as gold. Simple. And where can we find jewelry that is as pure as gold? Well, only at our Pure Rings jewelry store, of course. Get it? Pure rings for purines? In this image, we'll be looking through the lens of a security camera. That's right, an incident took place here earlier this day, and we caught it all on camera. First, take a look at the ring advertisement at the back of the store. Your proposal is a special moment. Make sure you buy the right ring. Examine the ring closely. See the big ruby and how the manufacturer's brand is a fox? The ruby should remind you of ribose, which you can remember as the ruby ribose ring. And the fox on the box should remind you of phosphate, also called foxphate. Putting it together, our ruby fox ring should help you remember ribose 5-phosphate. Ribose 5-phosphate is the first molecule in our pathway, forming the scaffold on which purines are built. Recall, nucleotides are formed from a pentose sugar, a nitrogenous base, and phosphate groups. Well, now you know where the sugar bit comes from. That's right, it comes from ribose 5-phosphate. Okay, so back to the story. Now what are ruby rings good for? Yep, they are good for proposals. In fact, you can see a proposal taking place right here in the ring advertisement. The word proposal should remind you of the next molecule in our pathway, PRPP. PRPP is the high energy activated form of ribose 5-phosphate. Since it's high energy, it allows the transfer of phosphoribose groups to other molecules. Just like a proposal transfers a ruby fox ring, PRPP transfers ribose 5-phosphate. And since nucleotides need a ribose group, I bet you can see where this is going. Now let's skip a few steps. A bunch of other reactions take place, including that of PRPP donating its ribose group, and blah 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 blah, we get inosine monophosphate, better known as IMP. So where is IMP in our image? Move your gaze down to the jeweler by the display. See how the jeweler has his magnifying glass out, looking for impurities? Ah, I think he found one. That's right, there's a big impurity right here. The word impurity should make you think of IMP, which is the precursor molecule for purine nucleotides. Okay, remember back when I said we skipped a bunch of steps? Test writers really only test you on diseases and drugs, which is why we oversimplified the steps from PRPP to IMP. That being said, you may occasionally get tested on some of the intermediates. We'll touch on these quickly since they are really not that high yield. First, take a look at the Spartan armor on display. Must have been one rich Spartan. The word Spartan should make you think of the word aspartate, the first of the four molecules that are required. Next, notice how there's been an attempted robbery in the store? Oh no, somebody tried to break into the glass case holding the Spartan armor. See all the broken glass? The glass makes me think of the word glycine or glassine. Now, little does he know, but we've also found the culprit of this incident. See, he's right there, hiding behind the Spartan display case. A thief is a recurring symbol for THF, a folate-derived cofactor that is involved in methylation reactions. I wonder why our THF thief is still here. You know how criminals always return to the scene of their crimes? Well, too bad for you, thief. We caught you on camera this time. Anyhow, the break-in happened a few hours ago, and our store owners have been busy repairing the damage. They've even tried to use hot glue to fix their Spartan case, as evidenced by the glue gun here. This is really quite a coincidence, as a glue gun is our recurring symbol for glutamine. See all that extra glue ammo on the glue gun? Glue ammo equals glutamine. Now recall, glutamine often donates its amino group in chemical reactions. Similarly, our glue gun is going to donate its glue ammo in order to repair this display case. Man, what a great symbol. And now we've covered all the intermediates between PRPP and IMP that you should know. Now let's get back to the high yield stuff. Specifically, let's see how PRPP to IMP can be blocked. Check out this military police officer, who has been dispatched to stand guard after the robbery. Military police is often abbreviated MP, which conveniently helps us remember the drug 6MP. 6MP stands for 6-mercaptopurine, and it is itself a purine analog. I mean, come on, it's got purine right there in the name. 
Since it's a purine analog, it makes sense that it would inhibit the enzymes involved in purine synthesis. You can just think of it as inhibiting the steps between PRPP and IMP, which is why we put this 6MP military policeman here with the other intermediates. In short, just remember 6MP is blocking the conversion of PRPP to IMP. Next, this is made all the more important since 6MP actually has a prodrug. Shift your gaze towards the azaleas outside. These azaleas are our symbol for azathioprine, and the placement of the azaleas near our policeman should help you remember that azathioprine is a prodrug for 6MP. In other words, azathioprine gets converted to 6MP. Then it basically works in the exact same way. Got that? Cool, now let's return to our IMP impurities and talk about how we get to the actual purine nucleotides. Notice how our three-headed jeweler has caught this impurity before it entered his gem pile? You knew that impurity was the symbol for IMP, but what about gem pile? Well, that's the symbol for GMP, of course. Gem pile for GMP. Get it? And by now, you're probably wondering why our jeweler has three heads. Well, that's because he's a hydra, a recurring symbol for dehydrogenase enzymes. Get it? Dehydrogenase enzymes? Our hydra jeweler examining impurities before they go into this gem pile should help you remember the enzyme IMP dehydrogenase, which converts IMP to GMP. But wait, there's more here. What about that funnel and ribbon? Hold on, I was just getting to that. Notice how this is a really small funnel, a jeweler's micro funnel, if you will. This micro funnel is our symbol for mycophenolate, which inhibits the conversion of IMP to GMP. This micro funnel is just too small for the impurity to pass through. Next, notice how this ribbon also cinches the jewel sac, blocking the impurity from entering the gem pile. The ribbon is here to help you remember ribavirin, which also blocks the conversion of IMP to GMP. In summary, both the mycophenolate microfunnel and the ribavirin ribbon prevent the conversion of IMP to GMP by inhibiting IMP dehydrogenase. Finally, let's talk about the other impurity. This impurity is actually not on a gem, but instead on this amp. Because this jewelry store is super pure, even the sound system can have impurities. And what jewelry store doesn't have a good sound system? Anyway, this amp should help you remember AMP, or adenine monophosphate, the other purine synthesized from IMP. Note, this reaction is far less likely to appear on an exam, since we don't have a drug that blocks this reaction. And we're done. Woo, that's it for purine synthesis. And we did it all through the eyes of a security camera. Pretty cool, huh? Let's recap. De novo purine synthesis starts with ribose 5-phosphate, which is then converted to PRPP. PRPP is the activated form of ribose 5-phosphate, and it can donate ribose 5-phosphate to other molecules. PRPP is then converted to IMP through a number of steps. These steps require aspartate, glycine, THF, and glutamine. Note that the synthesis of IMP can be blocked by the drug 6MP, as well as by its prodrug, azathioprine. Now back to IMP. IMP is the purine precursor molecule, and it can be used to make GMP or AMP. Notably, the conversion of IMP to GMP is catalyzed by IMP dehydrogenase, an enzyme that can be inhibited by mycophenolate or ribavirin. One final point before we finish. Purine synthesis is important for all cells, but it's really, really important for rapidly dividing cells. And drugs that inhibit de novo purine synthesis hit rapidly dividing cells really hard. When I think of rapidly dividing cells, I think of cancer cells and immune cells. Consequently, the drugs mentioned here are commonly used as chemotherapeutics and or as immunosuppressants. Just thought you should know. And now we're actually done. Let's go apprehend the thief and maybe check out some of these rings. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.